You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutabakil What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father... The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Well met. Perhaps you take. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafah. Anything else? Shukra. <laughs> what beautiful homes. Far different from the slums of Anbar. Cast your gaze, Enkidu. Generosity, but by my genius.
For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. The postal bureau. I will do as the Ruyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Find Haribs. <laughs> After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thalab. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Dearest Harib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. 
Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. I will go to the garden. Yep. Another shard. I will go to the garden. Give a thalab her letter and follow where she goes. So does the dawn, but a light. Be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite, and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalan to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. Best I stay hidden. Really? 
I like Mike. You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. Show me everything. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither. So this could be interesting. Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabicha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was, while al Mutawakil lived. But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Mm. Be my eyes, Enkidu.
A eunuch's uniform freshly tailored. Perfect. How long is this going to take? I'm running late. I promise not much longer, Saidi. Looks ready to me. No, you don't. Damn cut purse. Help! Call the watch! <laughs> A bit tight across the chest and gut. <sighs> that person looks suspicious. I should investigate. Hopefully, this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umuvalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some... I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. Eye paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. Eye paint and magic potion? Seriously? Sorry, that was Greek to me. Bigger eyes might add to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Here you are. Oh, thank 
you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Are you lost? You cannot be here. Be another way in. <sighs> Quarters fit for a Khalifa. The garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. He cannot do the evil he met his mother. There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... It gives you confidence. 
I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Why do I need to learn algebra? I am never going to... Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. A hairpin. Nings. When did Kabiha get it? A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? Yet for its grandeur, the room is all... <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs. Their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna. Deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands.
The Madalim courts are close. Their wish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. who work beneath him. These judges must know the governor better than most. Lend me your eyes. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. messenger could lead me to the governor's office and whatever secrets he buries there.
There you are, just as I thought. Sight of you. Wish always warned me I would be dragged to the Shorta. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? I don't want you here. No mine. safely now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Time to do What?
what just happened? I'll right, guide you! What in God's name? Hold on! Poverty was my only crime. Free me of these chains, please. Muhammad ibn Tahir's office at last. Abu Abdullah swears allegiance to the Khalifa and that he will not seek the throne himself. A man who puppets the powerful, who seeks to purge the hidden ones at Alamut. I have seen enough. The governor has been tracking the rebels and the Hidden Ones. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The Masked Cabal, the Order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey, a member of the Order? The Brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one. I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut, they gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you loose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. So the day ends with me fleeing the short bar after all. What was that? Stay alert. As you were there. Oh, peace is the trouble. Oh, 
Governor Muhammad is no friend to the Hidden Ones. I have seen enough from my three suspects. Time to seek Roshan's counsel and end this once and for all. Best I stay hidden. suspects. If not, then your work is not complete. You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tabban. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by his mother. Kabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Kabiha will meet swift justice, and I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right! Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not... A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, Master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Abiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemy, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. Many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. I will cut the head from the snake.
What do you see, Enkidu? Get a wider view. It seems Ali decided to attack the palace after all. His rebels could distract these guards. You, hidden one! You think you can help us pass these gates? They're barred from the inside. You appeared primed for a fight, brothers. I will see what I can do. What do you see? I must be quick and quiet. Abiha will be on her guard. open some doors. 
such heaviness in the air today. These are treacherous times. And most inhospitable. Are we not bade to honor the guest as he is entitled? We are. But Al Mutawakkil was murdered in his winter palace. Security has increased here since. I can see that. Everywhere I go, I am met with dark looks and locked doors. If only this were enough to open them. If only. An open door is a priceless thing. This will throw open all doors. I hope your visit improves. I feel a change in the air already. Finally. Now to find Kobiha and save Alamut. I'm very good at it too. From a girl waiting for me back. No any good jokes? What? Oh, never mind. The Greek dogs are cunning. They are real. Burn off half my souls. Set my water like in 30 pieces. Hazard. How can any man sit in a bath that long? Word has it, Kabiha enjoys a good soak as well. <sighs> like mother, like son. Abdullah must be nearby. Qabiha's son may lead me to his mother. Where is your mother? Do you have any idea who I am? Where is Kabiha? I do not know. I haven't seen her since she made me sign away my birthright. Then where would she hide? Think! There is a passage in the library. I followed her once. She used one of the books. Ah! Is that where she's kept safe while I've faced imprisonment and humiliation? Threats of death and... I know you. You were there that night, with that object clutched in your hand, and my father dead at your feet. That light, those voices. I thought I'd gone mad. Everyone did. Everyone except my mother. She... Will you kill her too? Will you not stop until all of us are dead? First the scholar, now Kabiha. These order members love to hide among the books.
There must be a room beyond this one, but how to reach it? What was it Arib recited? Rages many volumes by Arib. Bihar is an admirer. Blue, black, white, and yellow tomes. Which book would Qabiha choose to mark her path? She had Arib's book in her office. So many years spent searching, combing ancient tomes and tombs, tracing forgotten histories, snatching at rumor and at myth. When all I needed to do was wait for you to come to me. Sion has arrived, yet he knows not what he is. <laughs> Have you not wondered at your nature? You, who see more, who know more. <laughs> Even my son knew to ask what you were. When he saw your hand touch and wake the ancient's gift. What am I? Something more than man. Enough riddles. Speak plainly! Why speak what can be shown? Come with me to Alamut. Beneath its temple walls lies all the knowledge that you are heir to. Your so-called brothers would sooner die than see you claim it. But take heart, Basim. We will prepare the way. And set you free. No! What poison have you lapped at her lips? She said I was something more than man. What did she mean, Roshan? What lies beneath the temple? That is forbidden ground. There's nothing there for you. I told you of the nightmares. The jinni. You called it weakness. 
told me to mend it. I tried and tried, but you hid the way. You let me struggle alone! Not alone! You are not the first to walk the shadows broken, Basem. Stitch your shattered pieces into a hole. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. Purge yourself of the poison she dripped and come home to us. No more than a man, but no less than our brother. Or is it too little for you? What if it is? Follow the path she laid out for you, and I will kill you myself. what I have learned. Guards! Guards! To me! Nothing else? You tick? Is that it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Basim, are you well? Basim. I... I do not know. You... You were right, Niha. My enemy, Qabiha, she held the answers. What did you learn? That there is more to who I am. A truth Qabiha tried to tell me. A truth my master sought to silence. That truth lies at Alamut. So we ride for Alamut. I will go, Nihal. I alone. You need me. I need you safe. I am safe with you, and you with me. I may find nothing there but danger and death. This is my fate. I will not turn back from it, but neither will I have you face it. Where you go, there I will go. Where you rest, there I will rest. I will walk behind you every step of the way. You are never alone. Now get packing. We will not leave Alamut until you have found the answers you seek. Not the welcome you were expecting, eh? Well, at least you had the fortune to be elsewhere when the Tahirids came for us. What happened? I, uh... Fear Alamut has fallen. I was tasked with finding help. I went into the desert to find other patrols. Then I found you. Were there others with me? No. Only you. Then Nihal lives. And Roshan? I had hoped she would be with you. Come, brother. We must head out. 
find any survivors and cleanse Alamut of its infestation. I, uh, fear I cannot. How bad? I will make every last one of them pay. Vengeance is not our way, brother. Our way? You sit bleeding to death and still cling to this foolish dogma. And for what? Our creed could not protect Alamut. And neither could I. Nor I. But our beliefs are why you still draw breath. And are why you must save any of us who may yet live. On that we can agree. You have my word. Allah, Basim. There is nothing left to say, brother. Go! Save who you can! Steady. Steady, girl. All is well. All is well. Your master left you in my care. Our temple, whatever lies beneath, I must see it for myself, no matter the cost. Yeah! All this blood and death, is this what Kabiha meant by preparing the way? Nihal, please be safe, wherever you are. Some of my clan still live. Mentor Rehan among them.
The mentor has chosen silence. What's up? Not up here. Where are we going? Where are we coming from? What? I do not see any others. Come, help me out. Basim, how? I thought you were in Baghdad. Where are the others? Roshan! I came alone for the same reason these men did. I know the truth, Mentor. About the temple and what it shelters. Our enemies told me as much. They urged me to seek it, because only I could. You? Thus the Order used the Tahrids to decimate Alamut, because you... You are their key. To what? What are you protecting that is worth all this bloodshed? Ancient ground. For generations, it has been our duty to watch over it. Defend it from the Order, who seek to exploit its secrets. The temple houses its entrance, but Basim, even though it is forbidden, I have searched. There is no means to access it. Then I will find a way myself. You must not. It is what the Order wants, don't you see? If what we protect should fall into the wrong hands... It will fall into mine. Look around you at what the Order is prepared to unleash upon us. If I can gain the knowledge they seek, it can be what finally gives us an edge in this endless war. This is the way forward, for the Hidden Ones. The temple. Let us finish this. Nothing and no one shall get in my way. Not now, not when I am this close. It will take more than you to stop me. More of them ahead. Suffice to say, I am on the right path. Now 
to see if I can achieve what these intruders could not. What magic is this? Wait, I know this symbol. themselves, Robert. Is that what you think I am doing? Wake up, Basim. You walked the Order's path. The very people you swore to fight against. You're fulfilling their... Endangering the very thing you swore to defend. We will. And where is mine? How can I champion something denied to me? Your creed is flawed! Her shoulder. Uh. Last chance. you! I gave you everything I had, and you lied to me! You knew! Since the night we fled Anvar, you knew my truth. I only do. Spell. But I set my worries aside. I had to. You were but a young man, working alone, desperate for guidance. Wanting to do good. I am still here. What you may find in there. You do not have to look to the past to know who you are. Who you can be. You can choose, Basim. Put your faith in me. I tried. And in the end, you thought it best to control me. No different than our enemies. Basim, over here. I know what this is. The key.
She will follow. No. She cannot. You saw it yourself. Whatever lies within carries grave importance. For the Hidden Ones. For the Order of the Ancients. For me, what have we walked into? Where has my path brought us? You do not want to know why anyone was brought to this place. Are my eyes deceiving me? Are you seeing this? Nihal? I am. I am here. Wherever we are, it was built long ago. To serve what purpose, I do not know. I do. How? I... I do not know. Nihal. Nihal. Look in here. dreams. The figure from these visions. They are one and the same. Is this what I have been seeing? The memories of a life long ago? Are they mine? Is that why the genie feels so real? My tormentor. The source of all that ails me. If this is so, then I must face you. No. Why am I seeing this? As I move through. 
through it, I see nothing but the memories that stir my soul. In these moments of adversity is when I felt the Jinni nearest. That unrelenting fear, paralyzing me in my weakest state. I never understood what it was born of, or why it haunted me so. But I am beginning to remember. I am in a cold cell, begging for it all to stop. Who I once was may seek retribution. But if I am to move beyond this pain, then what I want is peace. It is time to put an end to this. only the beginning for us for what lies ahead a deeper understanding of the world we left behind and our place in it all my life I wrestled with who I was who I was meant to be and there you were all this time the side of me I resisted. A reflection of who we once were. Of who we shall be once more. There is so much that awaits us. A new world. Let me show you. I will never see you again, will I? Will I be alone? You are never alone.
It is done. You made your choice. Now, I make mine. Wadaan Roshan bin Ahad. It was an honor. Come, Barthin. We have much to discuss. <laughs> that we do, Mentor. This memory I buried of this place, this prison, the torture I suffered here, it festered for years, in darkness and dreams, masked as a jinni, to haunt me and hollow me, until it consumed my waking life. But I have faced my past, my pain, embraced it. I shed my skin once, in another time, Another place. But I am whole again. I remember. And as for those who thought to bind me, should any of them still walk the earth? I so look forward to our reunion. But until that day, a new world awaits.